All right, you guys, it is day three of your Stronger Together Challenge. Today's workout is Tabata Cardio Hit. We have a total of four blocks. We're gonna be doing each move for 20 seconds with a 10 second break and then repeat. Equipment today is body weight and a mat. We are actually gonna be adding one pound wrist weights that are from Lace Ups. Tabata workouts are great for getting more bang for your time. So we're trying to get to that higher intensity so that we do a shorter workout. That way the burn continues after the workout. Grab your mat, grab some water, and make sure if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Roll the shoulders back. We're gonna start with a march. Arms are gonna be up. And as we march, we can take those hands a little bit to the outside of the knee. And because it's a Tabata workout, you wanna to start to turn up that tempo a little bit. If you wanna level up a little bit more today, we are gonna be using one pound wrist weights in a lot of the moves here. We're gonna be lunging back the left leg. Lunge it back, stay there for a moment, add a twist, and then bring the foot in slightly for a hamstring or pyramid, and then lunge, twist, and a little pyramid. And then go at your pace. So we're gonna stretch out the thighs, the hamstrings, and your waist here. Step in, switch. Other leg lunge, add the rotation, pull the back foot in for a little pyramid. I'm gonna have some great mobility in the body because that's gonna help you have a bigger range of motion in the exercise and you're gonna stimulate more muscle fibers. So get more out of your workout. And who doesn't want that? Step in. Moving squat over to Carol and reach up. Step out, step in. Really drop your butt down. And then sweep those arms really big to the ceiling. And make sure you take the level that you need to today. So there is a modification. And I know I've got somebody here too. You can always find somebody to modify with. From here, we're gonna go into a little jog or march again. If you want to feel that you pull the knees up a little bit in front. We're gonna make our way a little over to Diane. We're gonna shuffle two, and then a little two jacks. And if you don't have enough space, it's one shuffle, one jack. All right, twist that waist. We're getting ready for that first move. It's a repeater knee three in a lunge position with a kick. We're gonna be using one pound lace up wrist weight. So I'm not gonna wrap them today. I'm just gonna keep them in this shape because we're gonna pick them up sometimes and put them down. So we're gonna face Carol. We got that three knees with a kick. So kind of drop a little bit into a lunge. Three knees, kick. Pull it down with the arms. You can drop the chest even more over your thigh. Switch directions, roll the shoulders back. And again, we're going for a big movement here. You watch your neighbor, right? <laughs> Three knees, big kick.
We have a jack twist. Jack, twist the hip, alternate the twist, or jack tap. Jack, twist. Light on the balls of the feet. Great job, shoulders back. We got a squat swing. We can jump it in or step it in. You're out, you're in. Little pause at the bottom and then zip up when you bring those feet together. Back to the top, three lunges, one kick. Whew. All right, it's getting up now, right? Three, two, one, kick. Drop that chest, look out in front. Turn it around. Maybe drop a little lower in that lunge. Reach those arms. Three, two, one, kick. Jack twist. We'll twist this hip first. Squat swing. Shoulders roll back. Keep that core braced. So when we have this Tabata hit, it's about getting to that high intensity. Drop, lift it up. Take your option. Thirty seconds. That's all we're taking, and we're coming into block two. We're getting ready for a shuffle kick. We're gonna start a little close to Diane. We got that shuffle two with a kick, or knee up if you don't have the space. Shuffle two, kick. Option, it'll push out of the arm along with the leg. Bend those knees a little bit. Feels like you're dropping into a little bit of a squat. Leap for two, and then we got those knees. Goes back. Leap, two, knee. Hop over or just step it over. Beast walk, no weights. We start on hands and knees. You can stay up and lateral walk punch. We're gonna walk two over to Diane. And then jump the feet out. Back in, whoops. Walk over, jump the feet out, in. Take yourself up, hop knee, you can add the weights back in. Hop knee, pull it down. a 
crunch down. Shuffle, we'll go this direction. We'll start here. Remember, shuffle two, kick away. Shuffle two, kick. Leap two, right knee, left knee. Leap with that punch. Leap, knees. Beast, no weights here. Come on to all four. Did she can take the option here? Walk two, walk the feet back. You can walk the feet back and in. Woo. Hop knee. Then you have your break. We're trying to bang through this. Shoulders back, arms are up. Crunch it down. Thirty seconds. We're getting ready for that squat butt kick. You can have the hop with it or not. Squat with that butt kick, or you're reaching back. Drop, kick. Really pull that heel to the butt, and then reach in opposition here. Drop in your squat. Burpee, no weights, or you could do lunges to the back. I'm gonna face this way. I'm gonna have you face that way. You can come over here, Carol. Right? Hands down, feet back, add a jump at the top. Or just step it back, step it in. Great job. Reading into lateral lunge knee. Add those weights. We're gonna step out towards Carol. Knee comes up, lateral into the other side. Reach up. You can do a hop to get to the other side, or just step it over. Heel digs with some jack arms. You can go quick with the heels or keep it slow. Quick with the heels, arms just go out and down. Keep your core braced. Whew, back to your squat butt kick. Who's got the loud feet? Roll back, squat, butt kick, pop it up. Good 
Come on, really reach. Back to that heel. Are you touching it? Burpees. All right, I want you pushing right now. Whew. Down back. Add the jump if you want. Lateral lunge. Look over to Diane this time. Take a deep breath. Lunge knee. Other side. Heel digs. Jack arms. Or how about just some full jacks? How about that? Full jacks. Strong on the arms here. Pull them down. Nice job. Let's go into core now. We got a Tabata core. You can keep your weights. We're gonna start with a crunch with a hook underneath the knee. We'll be on our back. Oh yeah. Hands by the ears. Weight or no weight. As we come up, the back hand is gonna hook underneath that front knee. And you can come all the way up if you want to. And hook. And you don't necessarily have to come all the way up. You're up. We're going to twist so the legs can be lifted or heels can be down. If you want more challenge, extend the legs out, roll the shoulders back. Twist front and back. Pull up and into your waist. Plank, no weight. Whew. We're gonna do a plank jack with a plank tuck. I'm gonna go here so I don't hit you, Jen. Plank jack, tuck the knees in. The option is a tap and then a knee, right and then left. I'm gonna go this direction. Flip it around, we've got bicycle. Hands by the ears, shoulders up, legs are up. Twisting. And then we have that extra weight. Oh my gosh, right? Tap the inside of that knee with your elbow. We're getting ready for crunch hook. I'm gonna have you just scoot down that way a little bit so I don't hit you. There you go, perfect. All right, hands by the head. Front leg lift, look under, and switch. Twist, rock yourself up. Either keep the feet down or have them up. Brace that core. Twist to the front back. Again, challenge yourself, right? Maybe the legs extend out a little bit more. 
me grab the bigger weight. We've got plank jacks and tuck coming up. Now I'm feeling lost without you and I'm just that one. So remember, you're gonna plank jack and then tuck. Jack out, tuck in. When you tuck in, hips stay low. So bring those knees towards the chest. Bicycle, this is it. Ooh, doing great. Chest is up, legs are up. Turn to that knee. Keep the shoulders lifted, legs stay low. Nice job. Take a deep breath here. Take your waist, place them off to the side. And then just let the knees drop one way and then the other. Grab that right leg, give me a hamstring stretch on that right leg. The head can be up or down. Super job. Now, remember, in that hit, Right, the Tabata hit today. It's really about full out effort. So when you don't have good energy, it's gonna be not as efficient and effective. So we wanna make sure that we have recovered and then go into that hit hard. We're gonna go into recovery mode tomorrow and then come back hard for legs. All right, knee comes in, straighten out your left leg, drop it across the body, spinal twist, reaching the right arm out. because you can only get stronger when you recover. It's like anything, think about it. Bring that leg back in. And let's switch here so we got hamstring stretch. Left leg, take a few deep breaths. the body, a little twist. center, rock up and then flip it onto all four. And we're gonna go into a little down dog. So press through the hands, dig the toes into the ground and then push the hips up. You can open the feet out, readjust anything here. So sink into the heels, press into the hands and lift your hips up. And then shift into plank, readjust your feet if you need to, knees go down and a little bit of up dog. And then push yourself to down dog, walk back to those feet, roll yourself up, grab that right heel for quad stretch, you can reach out. that left leg. And keep that chest open. Foot goes down. A couple shoulder rolls here, bring it up and back. And then a big inhale, reach it up, reach it back. And then exhale, bring it into your heart. Take a nice deep breath here. And let it go. You did amazing, yay for you. Yay to my crew, thank you Diane, thank you Jen. 
Thank you, Cheeky, coming around the back. Liza, thank you, and Carol, thank you. Thank you. You did amazing. You better pat your back, celebrate that win, you guys. And guess what? Thumb it up, comment below, and we will see you back here for the next workout. Take care. Great job finishing day three of your Stronger Together Challenge. Now, I want you to take tomorrow as a rest and recovery day. That's gonna actually help you to get better gains when you come back refreshed. If you're looking for something to do, I would suggest go for a long walk, maybe a bike ride, or you could even do some stretching or yoga. I want you recovered and rested for Lower Body Metcon. I'll see you at day five. Yeah. This way.